Greetings, and welcome to our presentation on Total Cost of Ownership, TCO. We are pleased you have selected our program to make you acquainted with this cost analysis process. As a purchasing professional, understanding the total cost of acquiring and maintaining parts, material, and equipment plays a crucial role in keeping the organization profitable. This presentation will discuss TCO and explain how to identify the total cost of acquiring and maintaining an item or equipment. In many situations, the purchasing professionals have to recommend to an executive management personnel the best purchase decisions for the organization. In order to understand the benefits versus the consequences of acquiring a certain item, it is important to understand the total cost of ownership for the item. TCO is used to help purchasing professionals make more informed financial decisions. It considers the cost for a product beyond the initial purchase price. TCO considers a cost for maintaining a product until it is no longer used or disposed of. Things such as repairs, service, and insurance are added to the purchase price. Not only acquisition costs, but also operating costs have to be considered as well. An important concept to remember is that TCO is applied differently in various industries. In the automotive industry, for example, TCO is calculated by adding the purchase price the taxes and fees incurred in acquiring the vehicle. Also added to these figures are the insurance premiums, repairs, and maintenance over the life of the vehicle. The fuel is another cost incurred by the owner of the vehicle. When a company is considering purchasing a company vehicle or a fleet of vehicles possibly for the sales team, these are all things that must be considered. The financial industry would differ when considering the TCO. If an organization is looking at purchasing a financial product, the TCO would include any fees paid to the broker or management company for managing the portfolio. Any costs of fees incurred for early withdrawal should also be considered. A dollar amount can be calculated to understand the expected return on investment. There are always costs associated with doing business with vendors. TCO analysis is often used to decide whether to do business with one vendor over another. At times, the cost of the product may appear to be the same. However, after performing a TCO analysis, one can clearly see the difference in the cost of a product from each vendor. For example, there may be a setup cost associated with the part that may be more expensive from one vendor than from another. There may be tooling costs that can vary from vendor to vendor as well. The cost to ship the part or parts from the vendor's facility to the receiving parts facility may vary. There may also be maintenance costs associated with certain parts to maintain their usability over the lifespan of the part. When considering the true cost of doing business with a supplier, these are things that need to be considered. There are five major life cycle components to consider when performing a TCO analysis. They are acquisition, implementation, operations, maintenance, and replacement. Categorizing the costs into these five categories helps to understand where the costs are and when they will be incurred. Also, it will give a view of where the costs will be the highest and where expenses will be less. TCO analysis should not be used as an avenue to find the cheapest cost. It should be used to acquire the appropriate goods and services at the appropriate costs. To apply it correctly, the purchasing professional has to consider both the direct and the indirect cost of the product or equipment. TCO is a tool used by purchasing professionals to ensure the best purchasing decision is being made for the organization. It looks for the cost benefits of acquiring an item or sourcing from vendor A over vendor B. Knowing how to perform a TCO analysis is crucial for the role of the purchasing professional and is sometimes performed by the financial professional with input from the purchasing professional. It is used across many industries and can be applied differently in each situation. It is also important to understand how the purchase and maintenance of this equipment is going to affect the profitability of the company as a whole. Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is businesstraining.com, where you can earn a master's level qualification to make more money.